Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to make these mini Christmas stockings. Okay, so they're really easy to make. A nice quick pattern. Okay, so you can hang them on your Christmas tree or make an event calendar out of them. Okay, so all you need is some um, yarn. I'm using cotton in green and white. You can use acrylic if you like. Uh, scissors a three millimeter hook and a yarn needle to start take your white yarn make a slip knot and chain three okay go back into the first chain that you made and make ten half double crochets so yarn over Go into that first chain, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through all three loops. Okay, so yarn over into the chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Okay, so you've made two. Okay, pull the tail tight and the next row you just want to increase from 10 to 20 so you want to put two half double crochets in each stitch around Once you've increased to 20, you just want to do one row of um, half double crochets. So just one in each stitch.
So once you've done that row, you want to slip stitch to the next stitch and change colours. Okay. And just knot the two ends together. And then cut the white. Okay, so I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to do one half double crochet in each stitch around, including the one that we slit stitched into. Okay, and when I come back to the start of that row, I'm not going to do a slip stitch and chain one. I'm just going to half double crochet into the top of the first one that we did. Okay, and I'm going to keep going. So you need to have, including this row that we've just done, you need to have four rows of green. Or red. So just stop the video here and do three more rows. Okay. Alright, so here's how it looks after my four rows of green. Um, make sure that you tie off any of the tails as you go because it'll be really hard to do at the end. I'm going to slip stitch to the next stitch and change colour. Okay, and I'm not going to cut my green tail, I'm going to leave it there. Chain one. And then I'm going to do nine half double crochet. So I'm going to do one in the same stitch that we slip stitched into. Okay, once you've done your nine half double crochets, chain one and turn, and then you just want to repeat that. So nine half double crochets,
chain one and turn okay so you've done two rows you need to do two more rows so you have four in total so it's just chain one and turn and then nine half double crochets Okay, so that's how it looks once you've done your four rows. Then I chain one. Cut the yarn. And pull it through. And then I'm just going to fold it together. And I'm just going to stitch the two sides together. Okay, make sure you make a knot so it doesn't come loose. Okay, so now you want to go back to your green. Okay, so I've gone through the white. Pull the green through and chain one. Okay, so you want to make nine half double crochets along the white. You want a half double crochet along the front of the green so you need to end up with 20 stitches still
Okay, so make sure that you have 20 stitches. And then all you want to do is seven more rows of 20 half double crochets. Okay, so I'll do that and I'll come back and show you how it looks. Okay, so here's how it looks after my eight rows. I'm just going to do a couple more half double crochets so I come out in the back. Okay, next I'm going to do a slip stitch and I'm going to change to white. And then I'll knot these two together. Okay, so the last thing that you need to do is um, two rows of white. So I'm going back into the one that I slip stitched into. So just one half double crochet in each stitch for two rows. Okay, so after you've done your two rows of white, you just want to slip stitch to the next stitch, chain 15, and then slip stitch to the next stitch. Okay, so the last thing you need to do is just weave in the last of your ends, and it's done. Okay, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.